Hello everyone and welcome to Empowered Budgets. Sorry if the screen seems a little weird. I'm filming a little different today and just ignore my terrible nails. I need to get them redone. I'm getting paid tomorrow and I definitely am going to get them done. But anyway, today's video is a budget with me video if you didn't see that from the title. Um, and I really debated recording this video because it's going to be pretty quick because I set it up to where it's really easy. Um, but I thought others would benefit from the way that I budget every time my paycheck comes in. Um, oh, and if you're new, welcome. Hi, I'm Monica. This is Empowered Budgets, where I am hoping to inspire others to feel empowered with their budgets. And my husband and I are on a journey to become debt free and uh, also would love to be financially independent. So I'm going to get right into it. So my income, this paycheck is going to be, as I got my stub, it's going to be $1,432. And I set this up to where it automatically takes out all the things that I keep in my account for bills, gas, and um, savings. Um, by the way, I keep my gas in my account because I use Upside which is an app that's free to download, free to use, and you basically check in at gas stations that are qualifying and make sure you're using the card that they that you keep on there and you get a discount because you basically get cash back. And once you get $20 cash in your account, you can cash it for actual money. So I love that one because I basically just use it to pay for gas. So that's why I keep it in there because you have to have a card attached to it. But anyway, I have money that I just keep in my bank account for bills, savings, and gas. And this is the amount that comes out of my paycheck each time. And I just leave that in the bank. So this is the money we can cash stuff. So then I slide down to right here. And I put in the amount of money that we cash stuff. So it'll be $550. And then these ones that are kind of darker that you can see, they are, as you can see over here, recurring amounts. There are certain things that I've calculated for that I have to put in a certain amount each time. Um, so I just keep them there and I don't ever change them because I always spend $200 on groceries bi-weekly. And then I go down the whole line and then I do my denominations. So we'll go over that in just a second. So we're not gonna do anything for spending. 30 is going to go for nails because I always save that much. And then eating out is going to get 30. Household is going to get 50 this go around. I really need some things. I feel like I need like toilet paper, paper towels, laundry detergent, all those things add up. Self-care always gets 10. I might change that in the near future. Date night is going to get 25. And then budgets is going to get 15. Medical, car maintenance, they always get 20. And then clothes is going to get 15. Shoes is getting nothing. Shopping is going to get 60. Oops. Delete that. Shopping is getting 60. My buffer is going to get 5. Fun with friends is going to get 15. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that's my favorite one. Every time I get excited to stuff it, to do things with my friends. And then gifts gets five. Generosity, I'm skipping. That has $10 in my wallet. Travel's going to get 40 because my husband and I need to go to his mother's wedding in September. So I'm saving up for that. Um, this one, I'm saving up for... A get, uh, I'm saving up for something. Uh, it's I, my husband watches this, so I don't want to say too much. Uh, and then this number is a number that I'm like goal towards saving each stuffing, um, but I'm not going to talk a lot about it because I'm saving up for something. Okay, and then donations is getting five, and then everything else is getting nothing. Oh, I missed something. What did I miss? 230, 50, self-care 10, date night 25. 
Hmm. <laughs> Eating out. 50, 10, 15, 15. I don't know what I missed. Anyway, so I guess this is a good way to segue to explain how I do this. So I set up this little spreadsheet to auto calculate for me how much I have remaining. So out of the 550, so I don't have to do mental math or do the math myself each time, I have... I put in the amount here, and if, if you see, if I delete it, then it says 545. Oh, you can't see that. If I delete it, I'll show it to you. It says negative 545 down here. So then now if I go back and I type 550, and then I go back down, it says $5 remaining. So somewhere in here, I, because I had done this earlier, but then I was like, I should film this. Um, so let's just go back through. So 200 for groceries, nothing for spending, nails is 30, eating out is 30, 50 for household, 10 for self-care, 25 for date night, 15 for budget, 20, 20, 15 for clothes. I feel like I had done 20 in that and I wrote 15 and then nothing, shopping, 5, 15, 5, Let's do 20 in clothes. See how nice that is? And then it says zero remaining. So I can literally just change it. Because a lot of the times I'll play with this before I actually get paid. And I'm like, well, I really want to do this much here. And then sometimes I'm over. So then I'll have to, you know, rein in the budget a little bit, which is, you know, it's just life. But it is really fun honestly, whenever I have a good paycheck, because this was a really good paycheck, I don't usually get paid this much, I usually budget for 1200. Um, but since we have to travel for Eli's mom's wedding, um, and I just spent a lot of money on med medical things, I'm really excited that I get to stuff a bunch of stuff. Okay, so anyway, hope that all made sense. My Excel, this is an Excel, this is a Google Sheet. It does all the math for me, which is really fun. So now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do my denominations. So this one is already done because that was already preset. This one's done as well. And if you're wondering why I do so many fives and not tens is because 90% of the time after I get paid, I have to go to just a an ATM that can give me denominations and they don't do tens. They do ones, fives, twenties, and hundreds. So they also don't do fifties. So it's kind of a bummer, but it just is what it is. At least I can get the money out when I want to. Okay. So now I'll go through the rest of them. So we're going to do 120 and then two fives to make it 30 for 50. We'll do two twenties and then two fives to make it 50. And then the 10 is there already. 120 for 25, and then one five, and then three fives for 15. Those are there already. Do another 20, and then 20, 40, 60. So three 20s, and then down to the this one. Buffer gets five, so just one of those. Three. Yeah, I just feel like if I did this by hand, I would mess up all the time. 2040, so that's two. And then the even cooler aspect of this for me. Okay, so now I filled in all of my denominations. Then this little box I have, it adds up all of these boxes for my denominations. So it automatically checks the price, the total for me. So the so it's already correct. I know it's my denominations are right. It's 550. And then just to have it more concise and easier for whenever I go to the bank, um, then I have it autofill, like auto populate my denominations right here. I know a lot of people have teller slips. I usually just write this down so that way I'm making sure I have it all correct. Um, so there I have one $100 bills and then 20s, 1820s, 185s, and that gives me 550. And then a lot of the times, because I don't super love going to the bank all the time, 
um, my cash that I have that's going to go back to the bank, I will like take the tens out of it and then put back some and not take out as much and then stuff a little bit differently just because I like to have tens um, because I do like tens, but I just can't get them all the time. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, it'll support my channel. If you comment down below, you can comment down the little money bag symbol. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.